So I'm going to show you how to get everything set up using the Bessler Enlarger. When you're ready to do your exposure for your pinhole positive, you'll bring your negative into the dark room and you're not going to have any other photo paper out at this point. But you're going to get those five things set that I had listed on the board. We're going to start with the height and the focus. Number one and two, height and focus, are things that you need typically need to adjust uh, together. So the height adjustment, this is the right side of the enlarger, the height adjustment is this handle back here, this crank. And you can see as I crank this, it's raising it up, and then when I crank it this way, it's bringing it back down. So that's going to adjust the height, and the knob closer to the actual enlarger head is what's going to adjust the focus. And you'll notice that that will raise and lower the lens. So you might have the focus looks good, but the height is off, so you adjust the height, and then the focus is off. So sometimes you have to kind of go back and forth between the two. So when you're getting this set up, first thing you're gonna do to get to be able to see where your light is, is you need to push that focus button on the timer. So that will turn on the light. Let me turn off my light so you can see that a little bit better. Yeah, it will turn on the light under the enlarger so that you can get that set up. And then I'm going to adjust the height. It's a little bit big. I don't know if you can see that very well, but the area of light is a little bit bigger than what I need it to be. You can kind of see the outline of the light right here. Okay, so I'm going to have this set so it's just a little bit bigger than my negative. So I'm bringing this down a little bit more. You can see it's getting smaller as I adjust the crank. I'm going to give myself a little bit of room so it comes down here. It's a little bit higher than my negative. So I'm going to give myself a little bit of room, but I don't need it really way up high and a really big area of light coming out really far. So I think that's good for the height. For the focus, right now it looks pretty good. If I have this way out of focus, you can see the edges of the light get really fuzzy. And I know that's hard to see on camera because my camera has a light on it. But you can see that as I turn the focus dial, it's focusing and giving me crisper edges around, okay? So again, I'm adjusting this knob for the focus, okay, which moves the lens up and down to adjust it so that it's crisp all the way around, crisp clean edges. So that's the height and the focus that you're doing together. The aperture is on the lens and the lens is down here at the base of the enlarger head. Let me show you where I am right now, okay? So the base of the enlarger head and it will turn and you can see there are numbers on there and they go from 3.5 to 4, 5.6, 8, 11, and 16. There is also a very tiny white dot. If you can see right now, it's above the 16. I'm going to turn that all the way over here so my aperture is set at 3.5. So that's going to be wide open. And if you can't see that in the dark room, which it will be difficult to see, you can, first of all, as you're looking at the light being projected on the board here, you can adjust the aperture going one direction it will stop and it will be really dim and when I turn it the other direction it will stop and it will be really bright. So you want it at the brightest end and that's going to be 3.5. You can also carefully check it with the light of your phone. Don't turn on the flashlight but light up the home screen on your phone and you can just carefully shine that up there to see where that dot is and that you have that in line with the 3.5. So that is the aperture setting. The fourth setting is the timer, and we're going to do a five second exposure for our test strip. So I'm going to bring this down, I'm going to hold the button, and then it starts to go faster until it gets to 9.9. .9. And then I can hold it down again, it starts to go faster. I want that to say 5.0, like I wrote on the board. If it is 0.5, it's only going to be half a second. If it says 50, you're going to be waiting a long time. So we want that to be 5.0 and that will give us a five second exposure. And then the last thing are the filters. And on this enlarger, like I mentioned, there are color filters built in. Um, you'll be using these later, but we don't want them on right now. We want to make sure they are turned off. So this little lever right here, you'll see on the side, it has a sticker that says filtration at the top 
and white light at the bottom. This doesn't really point all the way down to white light. That's as far as it goes, and that means they're turned off. If it's flipped up, and these dials are set to a certain number, it's gonna be using the filters and we don't want that. So doing the filters is just a check at this point to make sure that they are turned off. Uh, but later on, like I said, we'll be using those to add to our add contrast to our photos. So now that I'm ready to, I have those five things set, I am ready to do my exposure. So we will do that next.